Hey guys, uh, just thought today I'll make a quick video to just sort of uh, explain a bit how the uh, the two magnets uh, are generating electricity. So, so what we've got here is a compass, and I've got two ring magnets, um, which are the same. And uh, I just thought these are similar to what's used in the um, the magnetic. Uh, power generating unit they are they are larger than these ones but uh, these are these are the same uh, just a smaller version but what I wanted to, to demonstrate was here um, just to show the compass here as you can see north is pointing to north okay some people think that north points to the south side of a magnet but north the north point of a compass points to the north side of a magnet okay so don't be confused with uh, with what someone else might tell you about that Okay, I'll just spin it around. That's the south side, north side. Okay, I'll just spin that one away. Uh, this one here, south side, and spin it around, north side. Okay, so north side. I'll just move that across here a bit. I'm just gonna bring the other one in, and so that's north as well. And I just want to make sure that we can we'll keep this in shot, so people don't think I'm tricking. Camera here, north and north. Okay, if I turn around, south, north, north, south, north. All right. So what I'm about to do now is bring two north faces together. Okay. And there we go. Um, if you try this at home uh, with two similar magnets, you'll probably find that. As you try and bring them in, they'll, uh, they'll fight each other and they won't stick. So um, what I've been able to do is alter the uh, alter the fields on the on the on the magnet to uh, to allow the north to come together, um, but at the same time also allow the south side to come together. So what we can do is I'll just pull this apart and I'll spin it around. And there we go. Now, as you can see, I've swapped it around and they are sticky. Okay, so what I want to just demonstrate here by just by just showing this is this is this is how the power generating unit functions and how it works. Okay, um, this is the key to uh, to getting it to work. Um, yeah, so basically, having them come together like this, you get a you get a vibration, and uh, it's similar to I guess if the, the easiest way to explain it, if I'm explaining it to someone, is to say, if you've got a magnet and uh, a coil, and you you know you wave the magnet on the coil, uh, it generates a current, and you can you know you can light something up, a, a light or, or power something, so. What I've been able to do is by altering the magnet and the fields and swap it around, I've been able to do that effect without having to, uh, to without having to wave the magnet. So it generates a it generates a, a voltage and a current. Um, so I just thought I'd uh, demonstrate this today, and uh, um, yeah, look forward to more more videos and uh, and uh, products coming soon from us. Thank you.